iterator design pattern. This iterator design pattern is mostly used by the .NET and for the Java developers. So, this pattern is used to get a way to access the elements of collection of objects in a sequential manner without any need to know its underlying representation and iterator pattern falls under the behavioral design pattern. So, to have a better concept on this particular logic that why this iterator design pattern is there. So, let us go for one practical demonstration using Java and also we will be using UML class diagrams for the better understanding. So, here is a demonstration for you. Iterator design pattern is a relatively simple and frequently used design pattern and there are lots of data structures and collections are available in each and every programming language and each language and each collection uh, must provide an iterator that lets it iterate through its objects created. However, while doing so, it should make sure that it does not expose the respective implementation. And here in this particular example, we are going to create an iterator interface which includes the navigation method and container interface which returns the iterator. And concrete classes implementing the container interface will be responsible to implement iterator interface and use it. Iterator pattern demo, our demo class and will use name repository, a concrete class implementation to print names stored as a collection in names repository. So, let us go for the implementation step by step. Step 1, create an interface iterator.java and container.java. So, here we are having this iterator.java which is having the prime navigation methods are there and we are having this container.java which is having this get iterator unimplemented method which returns iterator object. Now, we are going for the step number 2, create concrete class implementing the container interface. This class is also having one inner class known as the named as named iterator, name iterator implementing the iterated interface and its name will be name repository dot java. So, whatever we have planned that has got implemented here you can find that we are having this name iterator is the inner class which implements this iterated interface. We know that in case of iterator we have we had two navigation methods one is the hash has next and another one is the next. So, they have got implemented here. So, has next is checking the value of index index was initially initialized with 0 with this names dot length we know that names dot length is nothing but here 4 because we are having 4 names are there in this names string array then it will return true otherwise it will return false. So, has next will return boolean and that was mentioned in this iterator dot java interface and here we are having this next function which returns the object as output and this dot has next if it is true then names index plus plus will be returned otherwise none will be null will be returned and that is our name iterator that is the inner class. This name repository is actually implementing this container. So, we know that container is the interface which is having only one method that is the get iterator which returns iterator objects. So, as a result of that we are going for return new name iterator. Name iterator implements iterator so it can easily be written. So, we are going to create one name iterator class object name iterator is the inner class. So, last at last we are going for this iterator pattern demo. You can find that in case of iterator pattern demo, we are implementing or we are just defining one object under the name repository class and then we are going for for iterator iter is equal to name repository dot get iterator. We know that get iterator returns one iterator class object and this particular um, initialization will be done until this iterator dot hash next returns true and then string name is equal to so iterator dot next you know that in case of iterator dot next we are having this one. So, this is the next returns object. So, we have done the uh, type casting string type which has been assigned to name and name has got printed. So, if we execute this code here we are getting this respective names which has got retrieved from the uh, uh, this, that is the name array string array and then through this iterator they have got printed and with the use, using the function that is iterator dot next and this particular for loop will be executing when iterator dot has next will be returning true. So, we have shown you that how this code has got coded and now we are going for the class diagram. 
So this is our class diagram. Iterated interface is there, which has got implemented in name iterator. This iterator has got implemented in name iterator, and this name iterator is nothing but one inner class, which is nothing but one inner class of this name repository, which is having these names as a string array, and name repository is a constructor. We are having this get iterator, and this particular get iterator you can go to the name. repository so you can find this one that is a get iterator is a method and this name repository is implementing container so that's why we are getting this implementation here so container is nothing but one java interface having got only one unimplemented method get iterator which returns iterator name iterator is the inner class of this name repository name iterator is implementing iterator interface and this is our iterator pattern demo class So in this way, in this particular demonstration, we have discussed how this iterator design pattern can get implemented using Java code. Thanks for watching this video.